Debt Weekend tells the story of a rich playboy dentist who invites his fashion model girlfriend to stay the weekend in his big house in the countryside. On the road to the house they are terrorized by a group of men in a car, but the girlfriend manages to run them off the road, which leads to the men later finding the house and attacking the couple there. After being brutally attacked, the girlfriend manages to escape and takes her revenge on the men. Released in 1976, a Canadian production, it shares similarities with other films of the era, films like The Last House on the Left and Straw Dogs. The writer-director William Fruitt has actually stated that he wrote the script a few years earlier but chose not to make the film then as he feared that it would look too similar to Straw Dogs. Fruitt has said that the idea for the film is based on an actual event he and a friend experienced on a back road in Canada where a car of drunken men harassed them. The film was released in the USA under the title The House by the Lake as the distributor felt that it would be more marketable under that title, mostly because the similar Last House on the Left had been a hit. The film has an especially complicated history in Sweden where a small distributor planned to release it but after the Swedish censor board which still existed at the time looked at it, they decided to ban it completely from releasing in the country. The decision was met with strong criticism from journalists and movie fans which pointed out that the film was not more violent than some others were released at the time and the distributor would go on to fight the decision. The censor board however would not change its decision giving the movie's tone and dark atmosphere as the reason for the ban. The film was finally released in cinemas in Sweden over 12 years later, but it was heavily cut with several minutes missing and by that point a lot of people had already seen it on VHS. The film's history in Sweden continued when the VHS release was one of the movies caught up in the now infamous video violence scandal when a program on Swedish public television called Studio S in 1980 aired an episode called Who Needs Video. In the program, concerns were raised over violent movies on video and the notion that they were being viewed by children. The program sparked a major moral panic in the country which would later lead to new laws banning several movies from being released on VHS. Movies like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Toolbox Murders were among those targeted. Police raids were even carried out on stores and all movies with violent content were confiscated, among them that weekend. A similar thing happened to the film in the UK where it was seized and confiscated and placed on the so-called video nasties list. Over the years the film has gained some acclaim and is considered somewhat of a hidden gem among horror fans. The producer of the movie Ivan Reitman would later go on to become a major director in Hollywood directing movies like Ghostbusters, Stripes and Twins. Interestingly, the film has never been released on DVD, except for in Sweden, where it was released on DVD in December of 2017, finally complete and uncut. <laughs>